the chance of a tornado in the Tulsa area is low. It's greater to our south and east. Yeah, which happens to be us, and uh, my video was taking a little bit of a strange turn. It was going to be about this crystal set here, which is part of the Crystal Radio Initiative work that I'm doing, uh, that Eric Dollard, he's got his challenge there to light up bulbs and such, just from the waves coming from your strongest local radio station, which uh, seems to be KRMG for me, which is based in Tulsa. And if I turn up the uh, powered speaker here so you can hear what's going on, you may hear the odd time crackles coming through. There we are. And I thought, oh no, there's something wrong because I've just put in another grounding rod outside. I'll show pictures of, of those that I've put in. And uh, it would seem what it's picking up is the lightning strikes. Uh, so I've just been to find out the uh, information on wonderground.com. And indeed there's a lot of lightning around and there is a tornado alert, which is uh, kind of interesting in November. Anyway, let's talk about this. Now, what I've got here is the ground coming in from outside. Uh, it's going to a standard 0 to 512 PF variable capacitor from an AM radio. Uh, I've got two diodes, uh, like an AV plug, uh, one forwards, one backwards, which is one of uh, part of one of Eric's uh, diagrams. I've got to finish off all the circuitry for power collection. But then what I've got is a 20 turn uh, coil. It's only a 30 gauge, it's a tiny little thing and really not the way to do it. But 20 turns, um, the turns are interspaced about 0.6 uh, of the width between each one. And uh, it's a fifth as high as the diameter. And then something really changed nicely for this setup when I added one of my SWES simple wireless electricity system coils on the top, the pancake coil. And suddenly things, you know, really leapt to life, really. And the volume out of this quite low power speaker um, is really quite cool, considering that we've got completely no aerial. So <laughs> it is a great bit of fun and uh, this is the thing, it's now gone a little bit strange because I seem to be picking up the storm that's coming through with a tornado watch as well. Rather exciting. But the whole idea is to light bulbs and such from radio waves using a crystal set. So there we are and uh, thanks very much for watching the progress so far. Okay, just to note, um, the two main stations this will pick up are KRMG and KFAQ, which are both out of Tulsa, and that's why I've got my uh, the steel and copper rods and such outside orient orientated towards Tulsa. But I can tune around here and get KFAQ. There we are. Not as strong as KRMG by design, actually. But uh, when hope, <laughs> I mean, that seems to have worked out. Uh, but you can still hear those clicks and pops going on over the top. Okay, so no aerial, a good ground, and onward to try and collect some power from this. And of course I don't have to take an aerial down because of the thunderstorm, <laughs> which is a bit strange. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay, the storm's outside now, it's raining. You can see that when the lightning strikes, this LED brightens up. But it is on continuously. Very, very pleased with this. Lightning power. Wow.